Hello, my name is Kelsey Day, and I'm the Queen of the South. I'm talking to you about Jesus who's going to land on the Mount of Olives. So he's coming back. But in Revelations of the Bible, there is a woman who's talked about that has 12 stars upon her head, like this crown. This crown is one that I've made as a model of a crown that I want to do for Jesus in onyx and gold. But I am going to shine the love of Jesus and tell you all about his teachings a little here and a little there. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have an everlasting life. Why Jesus? And why isn't he like Santa Claus? The truth is, Jesus is coming back. And that's not like Santa Claus. That's just a figure of our imagination. Someone who did some nice things a long time ago that we made into a figure. But Jesus, on the other hand, he's real. He went down to hell. He collected the keys to hell. And he is the one who can put you there or take you out. The question is, what do you want when you leave this life? Because it's temporary and every day is grace. You can have a car accident tomorrow and be gone. Now. The queen that is in Revelations that has 12 stars, she shines like the sun. And she has the moon underneath her feet. And I'm going to use this for the Islamic because that's their sign is the moon. It means that she stands on their weapon. She is enabled to communicate with them and get their aligned, get them aligned with Israel to protect the country and to do what God, the God of Abraham wants. This queen is one that goes in to talk to the Islamic and get some of them. Obviously there's so many that are full of hate on both sides. Jews and Islamics and Christians, all three. But the ones that really do worship God, our maker, the God of Abraham, are walking in love. They want life everlasting. And you can't get that killing others or hating them. The Queen of the South is here to tell you that. Now, I've been told to play this queen an allegory as a foreshadow to enable Israel to do what she needs to do to bring Jesus back. So I ask you for your help to do this. God asks you to obey the Ten Commandments. Well, Jesus said, if you would love your neighbor the same as yourself, and your neighbor could be Islamic, your neighbor could be Jewish, your neighbor could be Christian, your neighbor could be Hindu, your neighbor could be Buddhist, and if you love them as yourself, you won't violate any of the Ten Commandments. Jesus said that. As far as anybody going to hell, that is his decision, not yours. Stop pointing the finger. Let it be up to Jesus. But bring people into the kingdom of God with love. That is your job. Eyes all around as spoken in the Bible, exists now. In our cars, our houses, on the streets, in our jobs, worship centers, and every secret place you could go and send, there are eyes now to be looking in on you that's going to know what you're doing. You know, when 
I was taken down to hell in this dream. People were wearing their sins. Little videos of everything they did. So if you don't want that seen by people, you need to repent. Ask God to forgive you. Because he says he'll wipe it away as far as the east is the west and remember it no more. He'll throw it back to Satan and say, that was your idea. Do this. Seraphims, you know, they surrounded me when I was before Satan and all his demons down in hell. Seraphims with the six wings, they surrounded me. Whenever I told Satan that he couldn't touch me because I was covered by the blood of Jesus, he had forgiven me. I was forgiven and he couldn't touch me and I was surrounded by seraphim. And then Jesus came and took me out of there and I was crowned as queen, the queen of the South. That was in the year 2000. I've been trying to tell preachers that I was this queen for years now. No one believes me. You know, Jesus probably knew, and maybe he did tell somebody that he was the Messiah before they even started, but you know, the rabbis did not believe that he was the Messiah. They called his powers of the devil and they had him crucified. God's only begotten son. The one that had the perfect blood of Isaiah 714. Direct from God. The only man ever born on earth that did not carry the sin of Adam and Eve. His blood was different. He's the lamb of God. He's the only one that could pay the price of their sin and get us back into the kingdom of God, the one that could pave the way, the one that has the power to make us immortal again. If you wanna live beyond this life, you have to believe in Jesus, our Messiah. He's coming back to reign on earth for a thousand years. Lucifer will reign over our world of darkness that will, will shine to burn us. And darkness will soon become a full-fledged all over our earth. There are seven plagues coming to all of those who have taken the mark of the beast and, and even those who have not that are still here that don't believe in Jesus and how soon the rapture comes may not be soon enough for you. There's a testing period of time for you. All in the ocean and seas will die and the waters will turn to blood before Jesus returns. All of those who do not believe that there is a God, all they think to do as good will fail to perform. The phony dream given by the lead of Satan, 666 loves death and destruction. You know, the donkey who chases the carrot to move forever. That's how you roll in ignorance. So is the devil's shot or jab that you've taken, it'll make you more receptive to death earlier. Unless that we come up with a way to counter what was in it. That's why you have to say no now. I'm the queen of the South and I'm telling you to say no. Don't take the shot. I'm on God, his watch. It's a pun, his watch, you know, and he's watching me.
The writing on the wall was literally that of God in the Bible. But here it is now. I'm the writing on the wall. Do you have faith? I didn't have faith at first. I failed God in so many different ways. I'm not deserving to be the queen. But I know it. Do you know how undeserving you are? No matter how I perform this job, I'm going to do my best. But I need to be on camera and I need a team of people to help me. The Lord said it would be best for me to surround myself with godly women. Of course, their husbands and sons and so forth will follow. But I would like to have a team of women kind of like Jesus had. He had a team of men. I can't be like Zorro or the Lone Ranger and do things by myself. I'm not rich. So I'm asking you today to help me in the name of Jesus. Have a good evening.